Well, patients who come down with a severe case of COVID-19 are typically put on a ventilator so they can get the oxygen they need to survive. But sometimes that's not enough. Yesterday, I introduced you to a man at NCH Healthcare Systems Baker Hospital on an artificial lung after he caught COVID-19. And in today's Your Healthy Family, I'm showing you how that technology works. We do want to warn you, this equipment oxygenates Sean's blood outside of his body, so you do see that happening in this video. A ventilator helps COVID-19 patients get oxygen to their lungs through a breathing tube. I made a bad decision. But for some patients... I'm paying for it. Like Sean Hanley... If a regular ventilator is not enough, is when my team gets activated and, and we provide ECLS, extracorporeal life support, adding an artificial lung. Dr. Gaston Cademos is the chief of NCH Healthcare System's cardiovascular ICU and the director of its ECMO program. He says the lungs are like balloons. They inflate and deflate when we breathe in and out. When the lungs, because of COVID, get really rigid, the ventilator is not enough because the ventilator won't have the ability to inflate those lungs. That's why Sean was a perfect candidate for an artificial lung. With the artificial lung, we have the ability to avoid using the patient's lungs and we can provide oxygen and remove CO2 with an extracorporeal lung. This device buys the patient time, so either the medications can work and the lungs can recover, or until a patient can get a lung transplant. And the equipment is pretty complex. We get blood out of Sean's system through the neck, okay? The blood comes to this pump, and this is the artificial lung. The blood with no oxygen and the blood with oxygen, so this oxygenator will add oxygen to the blood and will remove CO2. That fully oxygenated blood then goes back to Sean's body. The artificial lung allows Sean to be mobile and lets Dr. Kadamas and the rest of the team focus on other aspects of Sean's recovery. So we can get the patients out of bed, we can get the patients awake or comfortable, we can work with physical therapy, occupational therapy, nutrition to give enough time for those organs to recover. During the last COVID-19 surge. We had a couple months ago up to five patients on support. But right now, Sean is one of two patients on an artificial lung, and he says he feels lucky. I wouldn't be here unless it was for the doctor. Words can't describe how grateful I am. So glad to see him recovering. Now, Sean also wants to encourage everyone to get vaccinated against COVID-19 so they aren't at risk of ending up on an artificial lung like him. This equipment requires an entire team of highly trained nurses and staff members to operate. So in tomorrow's Your Healthy Family, I'll introduce you to some of the nurses at NCH Healthcare helping take care of Sean. I'm Lisa Greenberg, and for more health stories, head to fox4now.com slash yourhealthyfamily.